Every week, many things are happening in MMORPG gaming world. So I have decided to bring to you every Sunday fresh news here on my YouTube channel. You will find out all you need to know about the new upcoming MMORPGs, new events, new updates and much more just within few minutes time. So let's not waste time, let's dive into video. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos in the future. Okay, that was introduction, now let's jump into the video. Let's talk first about Black Desert Online, because as you can see in front of you, new update, Eternal Winter, new expansion is coming on April 6. Also, with that new expansion, we have a new class incoming, Dracania, and I will show you a little bit here on this part of the website. Yes, Dracania is coming, I have already mentioned that. Next thing which you can see here, you can already now pre-order Eternal Winter Edition for 50 euros. But let me show you further, we have a new region incoming, new monster zones, and if I scroll a little bit down, new item Labresca's helmet. So the biggest thing regarding this uh, new expansion is absolutely new class Dracania. Each time you are getting new class here in Black Desert Online, it's something really amazing. You can already check some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel regarding new class. I have no doubt it will be something great under the fingers. You will see here on my YouTube channel in the future, of course, after April 6, some dedicated videos regarding new class to see how is this class actually looking in action. Until then, if I see any kind of new information from Pearl Abyss regarding new expansion, I will let you know about that. Let's go forward with Archworld. Archworld is a new upcoming PC MMORPG developed by XL Games, which have NFT feature included into this game. We already know that from before, so that's not a news. We don't have any kind of release date for this game. We have got a roadmap, which is actually pretty clear in three phases and the different kind of stages you can see here. Also, you can check on my YouTube channel some dedicated videos regarding this new game. However, as you can see here in phase one, we had this pre-registration event that is over, but now we are getting Archworld Fandom Card NFT Mint. Actually, here on official Twitter account of Archworld, we have got official announcement that that will happen within three days from April 4th to April 6th. I will follow in the future what will happen with Archworld. Yes, because there is simple reason for that. I will follow this game because it's based on Arcage and it will have this NFT feature included. I'm really interested to see how will everything work out regarding Archworld. So in the future, when I see some more information regarding release date, and of course, when I will have opportunity to play this game, you will see some gameplay and how will everything work out with NFT of Archworld MMORPG. Let's go forward with Lost Ark. Regarding Lost Ark Western release and actually regarding Eastern version of the game over there in Korea, nothing huge didn't happen in the previous week. We have got one new post from Amazon Games, Lost Ark update to top issues April 1st and it's not a joke, it's not April's uh, full, something like that. Uh, so we have got announcement that they are preparing a roadmap, they, have, uh, they are working on honing of course to make it easier for the players, uh, bots and fraud, competitive proving ground season 1, basically nothing too huge like I said didn't happen in the previous week. Other than that, number of players regarding Lost Ark here on Steam database, I can show you currently when I'm making this video 257,000 players, 24 hour peak 347,000 players, numbers are, are still pretty decent, let's say it like that, right? So number of players did decrease, however not that much that we would say it's a dead game or something like that, absolutely not, this, it will not happen same as for New World. That will not happen because as you can see here, numbers will probably now remain like this, maybe a little bit lower. And with incoming of new updates and new classes, with release of roadmap, I have no doubt number of players will continue to increase. 
However, I already mentioned New World, so let's check what is happening with New World, because actually in the previous week, something did happen. New World have get a new update, Heart of Madness, with many new in-game features, a new weapon, many things are happening over there, and did that have any kind of influence on number of players? I can show you here. So, as you can see in the previous week, uh, we had a little bit increase in number of players. Uh, currently, when I'm making this video, 20,000 players, 24 hour peak, 31,000 players. And uh, yes, number of players did increase, but very, very little. Before this new update, we had a peak, uh, 24 hour peak, we had like 26,000 players. So, after new update, 31,000. So 5,000 players more. That's very far from this number on the right side of the screen, 913,000 players. And it looks like that this new update didn't help that much to New World. However, all remains to be seen what will happen in the future. Maybe within time, maybe within uh, next uh, year, or maybe half year, I doubt so much short time, but probably within one year, maybe Amazon games will manage to fix many things which went wrong with this game, and maybe players will return to this game. However, new update, Heart of Madness, you can check details, I will put link in the description below video, did bring many things to the game, however, players, no, number of players is still very low. Let's go forward with Blue Protocol. This is new upcoming PC MMORPG which should be released as a free to play game during 2022, first in Japan and after that globally. However, within last 7 months we didn't get even one new information from Bandai Namco, developers of the game. And in the previous week also nothing new. So just briefly to let you know, there is nothing new regarding Blue Protocol, don't trust to any rumors, there is no official information within previous week or last 7 months. If I see any kind of new information regarding Blue Protocol, I will make a video about that same second, because at this point in time it will be a huge news. Let's go forward with Alien Ascent Infinite Realm. Things are happening with Alien lately, looks like the developers and publisher of the game are working on this game. In the previous week we have get new detailed roadmap for actually for the whole year, for 2022. You can see here very very soon in April or in May we are getting a new class Paladin, 30 player raid Irukas. Combat assist system, don't be afraid, it's not auto combat, it's something similar which you can use only in dimensional portals. So it's not auto combat which you can use normally in the game, only within dimensional portals. Clan dungeon and many more things. Also, June, July, many new things incoming, new hunting ground, Temple of Desire, new hunting ground, Secret Sea, underwater hunting ground, this will be amazing. Realm War revamp also. In August and September, new class Soulbringer. So this is second new class already coming in August or September and many more content. And for the end of this year, actually quarter four of 2022, third new class, new continent and level cap expansion, new battlefield and competitive dungeon, new dungeon and raid and life and house updates. This is looking very ambitious. And I have no doubt uh, it will be interesting to see this. I will try to play all of the new classes of course. When I see some interesting changes implemented into the game, I will let you know about that. And what to say except that Elion is a free to play game. So if you have never tried to play it before, then I can recommend to you where you have new classes released. First one is Paladin obviously during April or May try to play this game. If you don't like it, you can delete the game, that's it, you will not lose anything, because like I said, it's a free to play game. So, from previous week and for the weeks incoming, what is the biggest thing? Probably, let me scroll up here, this here. So we are getting huge new expansion, Eternal Winter on April 6 in Black Desert Online. This is a huge thing, and uh, yeah, every time we are getting new class in BDO, 
even now in 2022 black desert online is still a very popular game so i have no doubt numbers will continue to grow during 2022 and as you can see developers pearl abyss are working on this game all the time Regarding other MMORPGs, if I see anything new is happening with Lost Ark, Archworld, Blue Protocol, Elyon, and of course, I have almost forget to mention Tower of Fantasy, because just to briefly uh, inform you that during April, we will have closed beta test up. So sign up is not up anymore. If I click here on, on sign up now, you will see what happened. Yeah, recruitment for close beta test is now over you are basically too late so recruitment is over don't worry about that uh, because uh, probably there, there won't be any way too many people participating in this tower of fantasy close beta test if you are lucky enough of course try to play tower of fantasy close beta and during 2022 this new pc not only pc this game will also be released on mobile devices However, it's a new MMORPG, will be released in Western regions. When I see some new development with Tower of Fantasy, of course, I will let you know about that, because it's looking interesting. It's MMORPG, you can play it on PC, and like I said, it will be released in Western regions in 2022. So that's it for today's weekly edition of MMORPG Gaming News. Like I said, if I see anything new is happening in MMORPG Gaming World, I will let you know about that so if you are interested into mmorpgs check lots of gameplay videos guides for new players news and reviews on my youtube channel and make sure to subscribe thank you for watching the video and see you soon